huge welcome back, Gloria. Thank you. Very, first day out, actually, so I first couldn't think of a nicer out. place to come. So now, good. what our viewers <laughs> don't know, but we, we do, obviously, is that you've not been here for a, a while because you had a little bit of a nasty fall. I had so... a big one, I'm afraid, this time. Mm. Um, what I did, I, I tripped over a rug and I took the fall totally on my face. I have to thank Linda, by the way, for covering my face, magically covered with makeup. Uh, some of it has started, obviously, to diminish. But then I took it all on a very hard wooden floor. Mm. And it was all in my face. I've cracked a, a bone under my eye, unfortunately. There's a, a bone around your eye that sort of holds the socket in place. And that is actually broken. So as long as it doesn't take the muscle down, my eyesight at the minute is good. You can see it's a oh, pretty ugly well, inside, yes, isn't that's it? Yes, that's the x-ray, so you, you can see the broken... On camera right, yeah. Camera yeah. right, uh, yeah. eye socket. And yeah. You know, looking at you now, you look like you always do because they, they have done such a sterling <laughs> job in makeup. But I spoke to you over FaceTime you and I have to say I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Yes. And so what I want, I know we're not going to show your face, um, but I wanted to show a photograph of your leg just to give an idea of what the seriousness is. But I just warn you at home, yeah. this is quite graphic. But uh, if we have a little look here, so oh, we can oh, see oh, that's, that's oh, your leg, God. your your face. I have to say, it didn't look that dissimilar to no, that. No, it didn't. I have to say, I, I took it all, all literally here, all down. I thought if I could get a phantom of the opera mask, mm. I would have been fine. I could have had that. But, but you know, it. But um, you went off by ambulance, did you? And... Uh, ambulance. Yes. I have to say, the NHS was amazing. The ambulance came within ten minutes. I was at my son's house. And, uh, and then we went to, do you know, I don't even know exactly where I was in hospital, somewhere in a different place anyway. And again, in A&E, they were amazing. There were people everywhere. And um, I, w I was worried, if I'm being honest, I was worried about maybe a clot or something in the brain because mm. a friend of mine had a similar fall. Yeah. And I was very relieved to know that I didn't. But they were fantastic. They did my neck, you know, they, were, they did everything that they should have done. Mm. Um, Mostly worried about the eye, but what I've done, I suppose I'm the sort of person that once I come to terms a bit with it, not having been able to go down the mall on the bus, which was very disappointing. Oh, yes, you missed the I June. Know, you were supposed to be with Cliff on the bus. into a cup of tea on the Sunday. But anyway, mm. once I sort of got over that and I thought, this is it, I actually booked some other scans from myself because mm. I wanted to make sure that, A, I had the right person from my eye if I did get double vision or something. And I feel comfortable now that I know the right person to go to if yes. anything happened. I pray it doesn't. And I also had my chest x-rayed because there was a pain down my chest, which fortunately has started to go away. Mm -hmm. Doctor said it's just, um, I thought at the beginning, it's my sternum. I know somebody who cracked their sternum. I thought that's oh it. God. But in actual fact, fortunately, I think it's just um, And did you break anything muscle. in your leg? No, the, the leg is pretty horrific looking, isn't it? But... Mm -hmm. um, it's all still wrapped in stuff that sort of helps to heal. Hand. But what the ambulance man did, which was amazing, because the skin was all, you know, I mean, away somewhere else, and they managed to bring it forward over the wound, uh, because in actual fact, that means that not all that skin has to repair. It's just the bits in between. Yeah. But I would want to say to people, because I know that you can fall at any age, but the equilibrium that happens, your whole body just goes into a different mould in a way. And what it, it, I mean, I'm a reasonably confident person, usually, moving around and I don't want to sit doing nothing. That's why I'm here today. Um, but it does affect your confidence. Even yeah, that's in what my... I was going to ask you, because yes. obviously, you know, physically you're yes. starting to get better. But what has it done to you psychologically? Well, even in my own garden, you know, even steps that I know very well, I'm very... And I didn't want to walk on today and to make some stupid mistake and, you know, maybe fall over. And I'm petrified of... Because underneath this makeup, and Linda, Thank you very Amazing. much for doing a marvellous job. But underneath this, I am black and blue all around yeah, here and all sure. under here. But I'm petrified of falling again on mm. that. Oh. And I haven't been able to go out to shops because I didn't have Linda to do my makeup. Um, but I, I, I do think that I walk along the streets now, or will walk along the street, mm. looking for uneven pavement stones and things like that. So it, it, uh, it, the falls are bad. So you're saying this it's one was nice bad. for you to be out here uh, with us here Gosh. on the panel. You've missed it. Yes, because, you know, I feel 
happy coming here. It's good for my head mm -hmm. because I'm one, I've been a worker all my life and I want to get back to what I do normally, what I deem normal. And I love the girls, all you girls, and it's a very friendly environment to come back to. So I feel safe. Mm. So that's why it's my first day out and I'm very happy to well, be Well, we are with you. thrilled you. to bits. Thank you, I was very kind, back. thank you. Thrilled to bits to see you back. <coughs> thank you very and, much, Jane, and, um, thank you. you know, keep on getting better. I'll do yeah. my best. <laughs>